Hello, I'm with Acumen International and today I'd like to discuss with you the proper techniques required when operating our quick release valve seat puller. First, please be sure you're wearing the required PPE. Secondly, inspect the tool prior to use to make sure it's working correctly. Third, make sure you're using the right puller head for the desired valve seat to be extracted. And fourth, please use the provided operating instructions when using. If the instructions are followed, the quick release valve seat puller will work without fail. We've also identified a few other checkpoints that must be followed to ensure the tool works properly every time of use. Your first major inspection point is the bottom nose. You want to make sure this is threaded flush with the puller shaft and hand tight. Your second inspection point is your cross pin access hole. You want to ensure that the outer collar is turned at least a quarter turn away from the slot on the puller shaft. This will prevent the cross pin from sliding out while in use. The next major inspection point is the pull knob. As you can see, the pull knob is to remain locked at all times. The pull knob is only to be released when you are releasing the seat. Upon releasing the seat, be sure to re-engage or lock the pull knob back in its place. The next major inspection point is the acorn nut. The acorn nut acts as a visual cue when the tool is operated correctly. The acorn nut will disappear inside the pull knob approximately one inch after the two inch nut has been properly threaded down the all thread. Another reason why you need to be sure the pull knob is re-engaged after every use is because the jaws will not properly rest on the bottom nose if the pull knob is not properly engaged in the lock position. Doing so will cause stress to the internal parts, ultimately, da ultimately damaging the tool. Therefore, please ensure the pull knob is always locked in the lock position. The best way to confirm you've gone all the way through the valve seat is one, by lifting up on it, and is two, is by the acorn nut here. If you see the acorn nut, that, allows, that tells you that you've passed through the seat, and when you lift up on it, and it disappears about one inch side the pull knob, and you cannot lift any farther, you know you're fully engaged. If you see the acorn nut at all, while on the lift up position, or while pressuring up, that's a sign that you've not properly engaged the valve seat. So you want to lift completely up on it, the acorn nut will go inside about one inch inside the pull knob, and that let you know that also let you know that you properly engage the valve seat. All right, now that you've got your fluid end disassembled and you're ready to pull the valve seats, first thing you want to make sure you do is go over your checklist. Your bottom nose is threaded and flush with the puller shaft. Your cross pin access hole is turned away from the slot and your pull knob is in the lock position. At that point you put the puller shaft through the fluid end. You see your acorn nut pop out. You lift up on it. You know you're engaged and in the lock position. At that point you put your pancake on We also recommend that you strap it down for safety. However you and your company feels necessary. And then you thread your two inch nut down like you would normally. Alright, when you hit the bottom of the pancake, again, you lift up on it, thread all the way down to ensure your puller head is fully engaged. Once you make sure the seat is loose, you lift up on the puller. 
you release the valve seat and the fluid in. You re-engage the pull knob in the lock position. You lift up on it and engage the next seat. As you know, our puller head requires three inches of travel. So you want to make sure you back that egg, back the, the nut off the pancake until you see your acorn, acorn nut completely. You're going to have to unthread it quite a bit all the way until the nut comes off the pancake. At that point, you know you've properly re-engaged the seat. Like that, lift up on it again and thread her back down. Strap it back down for safety. There's your seat. There you go. And that's how you pull, that's how you use the Acumen Quick Release Valve Seat Puller. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It's important to understand how our Quick Release Valve Seat Puller tool works prior to use. This will ensure the life and durability of the tool. If you have any questions on how to operate or where to get our Quick Release Valve Seat Puller, please contact Acumen International. 713-896-0050 or look us up on our website www.acumen.us.com Thank you and good luck.